Alrighty everyone, welcome back to our fifth part of our FPS tutorial system. In our last episode, we created our bullet system and our damage system for our enemy. So if we run around, we can shoot and do some damage and we can kill the enemy. But now we want to have some sort of indication of how much damage we're doing to the enemy. So let's let's create our very first um, GUI system for our enemy. So let's go to our enemy and let's create a UI canvas. And we're going to call this our health canvas. And you want to come up to your render mode and change this to world space. So it follows the um, character around and make the position in Y 0, 0 and let's scale it down to 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01. Lovely, now you can see the canvas around him. So let's scale this down even more and let's pop that there. That should be pretty good and let's just scale that down and scale that down and position it around there because that's where it's going to hover when it's moving around. Alrighty, and now what you want to do is come down to your material and even if you want to go into paint and then just pretty much create this tiny little line, you can go into any kind of application, Photoshop, paint, doesn't really matter, you just need to create a little line, just a little red line and then import it. So I've already done that. So you want to come up to and make sure it's a 2D um, UI and apply that. And now let's go back to our health canvas and say UI image. Perfect. And then we're going to say the sprite is the health bar. And then just drag that out to kind of make it look like a health bar. And then we'll just drag the whole canvas down a little bit to make it like that. That looks pretty good. Nice and bold. And we're going to call the image uh, health GUI. And we want to go to the health canvas and just create an empty object and move this empty object to the end of um, the character and then put the health GUI under it so then when you scale it it's going to scale down um, as a line and maybe just bring it out a tiny bit make sure it's right on the on this pivot so then when you scale it it's not going to go past lovely and then just maybe move that across perfect so now we have our health bar pretty much set up and we just have to do some minor adjustments so let's go to our canvas and create a new FSM. I'm going to call this our health bar management. 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 Health bar management. I'm going to go edit. And we're just going to say get FSM float. And this is basically going to say we're going to get the float from another FSM. And you guessed it, we're going to get it from the enemy. FSM. So let's say specify enemy because it's, it's itself. And we're going to say get the damage control, get the variable, the health. And we're going to store that in a variable we will create. And we're going to say we're going to call this the health bar variable. And we're going to say get that every frame. And now we're going to say set scale of the Maduvi, we're going to say set the scale of the game object. So we'll change this game object name to um, scale health. Scale the health. Alrighty, and then we're going to say set the scale of the game object. And we'll just double check which scale we'll want to move it across in. So we're going to want to move it in the x axis. So we're going to set that and we're going to say, hi everyone, hi everyone. welcome to part. And we're going to want to say, make it in the health variable for the X. And we're going to say every frame. Now you'll notice that if when we do this, it's going to take the health variable and make it 10 and make it a really massive line. And then it's going to reduce it, but it's not going to look that great. So we need to do some math. Yes, everyone likes math. And we're going to say float operator. So basically what we're going to do, since his health is 10, 
we're going to say his health is 10. We're going to divide that by 10 and say divide and we're going that's going to give us our our equal equalized health. Perfect. And that equalized health will be equal to 1. And 1 is roughly the scale of the um the health bar so that will make it go down nice and smoothly I'm going to say make that every frame and then change this x um, value to the equalized health so now you'll notice that when we play and we do damage it's going down really nicely look at that and then once it's zero he dies that is very, very nice. I like that a lot. And one little um, extra trick, we can um, make this stay looking at the player. Let's just make this health bar say, look at, and we'll also say find game object. And we'll make this find game object the player. So let's just make this find the, the player store that in the player and we're gonna make it look at the player so that way it's every frame it's going to be looking at us so now when we do damage it's gonna do that it's just gonna make sure we can't get behind the um, get behind the canvas and it's gonna make it look weird and that's pretty much it and then if you want to get um, a little bit more technical, you could um, you could always have the health number display inside his um, inside his health bar. So you could just create a quick text, um, drop that in, just make a, a random number so we can see how big it's going to look. Um, make these both overflow. You might make it white. That might stand out against the red. And create a bold and just make it fit in there. Alrighty, so this is going to be his um, health number. And using the same health um, management, we'll just call this um, health. Using the same health management, we can create a integer from that float number. So we can say float to, um, or float to string, really, because that's what we want. We want to say, Take the equalized or take the health variable and change that into a string. A string um, is what um, is displayed in text formats. So we're going to say health, health to string, and the health to string. We'll just put that there, and we're going to say every frame. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag. We'll say lock. Click that. So then when you click other objects, it's not going to turn that off come down to here and then drag this script into um, the FSM and say set property set the text and then set the text as the string and say every frame so now when we play you'll see that his numbers there it's back to front but we can fix that up and that's that's pretty pretty good all right, make this um, 180, and then make this health number on this side. That should do it. All right, look at that, and now it counts down when he gets hit. Although it's scaling the, um, it's scaling the number. You want to make sure the the numbers outside of the um, the damage system. So there we go. That's like a quick, easy way to show how much damage you're doing. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been how to create a health system for your player and enemy. And it's been mainly been focusing on the GUI side of it. But it kind of gives a almost Destiny-like um, look to the, the health bar. And it's a super easy way on how to, how to get that all set up for you. Alright, in the next tutorial, we'll probably be covering how to set up enemy shooting at the player.
as well as a player health system. So again, they kind of do a bit of the opposite um, effect. So stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.